Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. A fairly short kick from the 14. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Well, everybody was up there ready at the line of scrimmage, CD, but no snap, and the delay of game ensued. Yeah, and I'm sure their head coach is asking the exact same thing. What's going on out there? Almost like they thought they had... This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it, and the Buccaneers are going to take possession of the football. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. So first and 10 now from the 30. So after the INT, it's Brady. Going down the middle, and it's complete. Touchdown! Russell Gage, 30 yards. And the Buccaneers use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go, still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, or they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. That is. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they'll start with great field position at the 41 yard line. The start of this game has me doing flashbacks and remembering when I was playing and seeing a similar start and seeing the head coach actually take a timeout and gather the whole team around him and tell him everybody to get it together. Let's get some focus going here because maybe he, he just sensed that maybe this the whole team wasn't ready to play. Yeah, well, they've gone interception, now fumble. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette, and he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice 
nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And a loss of three to bring up four. They'll go for it. It's Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. A nice-looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Miles Sanders' first carry of the game. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. On second and a yard. Hurts. Open. Man, he's got him. That's Smith for the Philadelphia touchdown. Devontae Smith, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Elliott Good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So 7-7 the score as they begin first and 10. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now Brady. The left side completion to Jones. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. First catch so far for Julio. He's got a first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. These two teams all tied after one. search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing his Brady on third down. He'll get that out to the flat to right. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Brady going to go on fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on down. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Another run with Sanders. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Here's Hurts to throw. 
Touchdown, Eagles! Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Take it in at the three. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. That 7-0 lead of there is short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Completes it again to Gage. From the 38, Brady. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So a failure to connect on second down. That leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now Brady again. Complete right side to Otten. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40. And that is well shy of the first down marker. Brady to throw for it on fourth down to Evans on the slam. And he's going to have the Bucks first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. On play action, now Brady. Look at Mike Evans' way again, and he's got another one. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Up the gun, Fournette. He's got room at the 30. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. Brady now on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. To throw is Brady. Quick throw finding Mike Evans. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Well, the Jets sweep. This is Godwin. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. On fourth down. Brady, and he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Bucks try it on fourth down, but come up empty. And the Eagles defense able to hold. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And their last two drives, both ending in touchdowns. It's got them this 14-7 lead. And it looks to me, and I think you're probably seeing the exact same thing, they're in an ideal spot now to create some separation. The way that they're functioning on offense now, they can create a pretty good gap, allows their defense to play with a little more verve and confidence. That big article in the paper this morning about them stringing possessions together for consecutive touchdowns, and right here they're trying to make it three in a row. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. From the gun, it's Hurts. And that is incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, okay, now they know that they can compete with this offense. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they pick up a big chunk of yards to boot. 18 of them. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They'll go again with Sanders. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. 
Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing his hurts. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. Here's Jake Elliott, career long, by the way, for him, 61 yards. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. And now the half, not quite over yet. This is a live football on the miss. He's past the 30. Past midfield, look out. No whistles, he's still going. And he's going to score. Touchdown. No time remaining. And this is going to count. And that is obviously the danger, Charles, of a long field goal attempt. And what teams are doing now is not just putting their field goal block unit on. They may change it out and go punt return because you have better guys on the field who are able to stay on their feet and block in case that kick is missed. And that's what we saw there, the big return after the long missed field goal. So what can Brady do here is he'll lead his guys up to go for two. They'll throw now on the final play. And this is caught. So how about that? They get the two. Not sure why they went for it, but they do have the lead now here on the final play of this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. We welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I think the message was Mike Evans. He's going to go. The 30. 10. 5. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. Man. One play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. Taken from about the 12. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 26. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's a whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. On second and 11 now. Hurts looking here for Smith downfield. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. This is Smith with a grab. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. 
Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. So for Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Down inside the 40. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave him no cutback angle. You know he's trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From the 39, Hurts. This is caught. It's Brown. Touchdown. A.J. Brown, 39 yards. And the Eagles have cut the lead back down to two. Trying to make a comeback often appears daunting, but the only way to get there, start small, score, and worry about getting the next one after that. Hertz will throw. Throws right side, and he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. And the formula there on the two-point try, they go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that someone, if they're going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. Finding Otten once more. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Brady with a quick throw here to Evans out wide. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that'll make it second down. To throw, it's Brady. There's Evans again, complete. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Mike Evans, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys have now moved out in front. And they're gonna get the two-point conversion. This one's caught. And it stretches their lead up to eight. The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. Pulls it in at the 13. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now, defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something, because right now... Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. 